Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. What a beautiful Florida sunrise. It's kind of chilly out here, but I'm trying to utilize all my time. So I got up, started cutting a couple pieces of my metal siding. The siding is continuing and it's going really well. But I decided I wanted to update my water system. So I need to first modify how my pump connects from the half inch PEX pipe to the three quarter inch PEX pipe. Now by putting in this pressure tank, it'll ensure that I maintain constant pressure while taking my shower, unlike last night where I walked out. So I just slightly heated the end of this PEX. That way it would allow the adapter that's gonna go into the pump to connect. So it was just a little bit too big for it, that little bit of heat, and it worked perfectly. Now here, as you can see, my hands are just tired as they could be today. I think it's screwing all those screws in and trying to cut the siding and whatnot. And it could be old age too. <laughs> all right. Then. So I went ahead, got this crimped on here, and it worked fantastic. So, just came in, connected it to the side of my 40 PSI intermittent pump, pushed that blue clip in that locks it in place, and I am ready to just basically start assembling all of this PEX. Now, this, that little copper piece that you see me putting in there, that's half inch PEX to three quarter inch PEX. So I have half inch coming into my pump, and then I wanted it converted to three quarter going out. Basically every fitting was wrapped three times with Teflon tape and then I used this Teflon putty to ensure that I would not have any leaks. And then just tighten it down. It really came together nicely. It's kind of like an erector set. You just try it, modify it. Once you get it, it's, well you'll see, it works and it appears to be just flawless. So this right here is the drain and the setup that I have, it will work, but it's not exactly to the diagram that you see other pressure tanks. So technically I should have had a T coming off of here and it has other attachments, but I just opted to go with this PVC elbow. Now with that being said, Instead of going with PVC, be smart. Just spend the extra money, get the copper um, attachments and do it the right way. Now before you charge this with water, go ahead and make sure your pressure tank is set two PSI below the rating of your pump. So because my, tump, my pump is rated for 40, I set it for 38, I turned it on and we have water. Fantastic, right? Well, finished working for the day, took a shower, went to bed, woke up the next morning to another beautiful Florida sunrise, breezy, a little brisk. Everything's good. Go to wash my hands and I didn't have uh, water pressure. Couldn't figure out what was going on. So I went out to the utility shed and guess what? my brand new schedule 40 threaded fitting that goes on the end of the pressure tank split overnight causing the pump to run overnight causing the water to be gone right here is where the splits at so it's time for me to rethink this thing and actually do it in metal well guess what on the way to the store <laughs> to get all the fittings metal fittings doggone Osprey hits my windshield and breaks it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was just one of those days. Okay, so now I'm back. I need to modify how I attach the pipe to my uh, pump. Now here I'm heating it up and this is just footage from the first time I did it, but I put an elbow on this. Now this is to allow the half inch pecs to receive the um, adapter. So it's gonna go from half inch PEX to three quarter inch PEX. So I heated it up. You can see the half inch to three quarter inch PEX um, piece there on the ground. 
Once I got it heated up, I put the new elbow fitting in for the um, pump and attached my half inch pecs and then attached my three quarter inch pecs. Now once I had it to this point, I used a three quarter threaded to a three quarter pecs um, fitting, went ahead and compressed that on. And then using three wraps of Teflon tape and the Teflon putty, I put it into my three quarter inch one way check valve. Check valve is key with the well. I don't know how important it is because I have the water catchment with the tank, but I opted to go ahead and just put that in. Now to make the connection between the pressure tank and the pump, I use, it's a kind of the equivalent of two 45s. They're shark push on fitting. So at any time I need to get in here and modify anything, I won't have to cut pipes. I can just pull those sharks off. And then down there where the arrows are at, going into the three quarter inch threaded T or two more of the three quarter threaded PEX fittings to uh, the three quarter inch thread, blah, blah, if that makes sense. I'm just pointing at my three quarter inch threaded T fitting. I purchased all of these parts at Lowe's. They have a pretty good selection there. The guy thought I was a nut because I had them laid out on the floor. So to connect the three quarter inch T into the tank fitting, that is a three quarter inch double threaded male. And then the three quarter to one inch thread to fit the tank. The tank threads were one inch. Again, all these threaded fittings, I used three wraps of Teflon tape and then Teflon putty. Recharge the tank, make sure it's at 38 PSI and then turned it on and let it pressurize. Now what I don't show you before this was when I initially turned it on, the pressure switch had burned out from the thing running all night. So I had to change that out as well. Yeah, like I said, it was just one of those crazy days. But as you can see, we're back with water. Um, I think there was maybe 500 or 1,000 gallons left in that big tank. And then this is just an overview of my current system. It has four filters. It has the one-way check valve. If at any time I need to modify anything, I can use these shark bites to take it apart and drain that tank. A couple of shutoffs in between. I had thought about even putting a uh, valve in there, and I may come back and do a garden hose valve later on does have my little pressure gauge, which is great, and then my three filters, my large particulate carbon, my carbon stone, and then a wrapped white cloth type uh, filter. Goes out of there and then into the off-grid barn. And I will have you know, it works seamlessly and I did not have any further leaks. So there you go. Sorry I didn't film the second half of this, but uh, yeah, I was a little frustrated. It was a crazy day. Alrighty, y'all. Thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful and blessed day.